Now to our ongoing coverage of the state's treatment of severely mentally ill men and women and the cracks in the system that lead to tragedies and violence. A bipartisan group of lawmakers is proposing four major reforms designed to protect the public, but it comes with a hefty price tag. Joe Dana tells us about the proposed bills at the Capitol. There is a chorus of people rooting for these changes. You know, the gaps in care and lack of oversight of the state's psychiatric hospital system are well documented. The level of violence, the lack of accountability. Family members of those in the state system know all too well the problems. We really just need to get a handle on this. Summer Walter's brother, diagnosed with several mental illnesses, is now behind bars after he assaulted an employee while a patient at the state hospital. He was the aggressor, yes. But evidence in his case also revealed a lack of support for staff at the hospital to keep patients and staff safe. Summer and a vocal group of reform advocates are pushing for several bills led by Republican Senator T.J. Shope and Democrat Senator Catherine Miranda. And I really hope that our lawmakers can really look at this need. Among four bills addressing the Arizona State Hospital, one would privatize the hospital so that the state is not in the compromising position of regulating its own facility. Two other bills involve the reintegration and security of patients who are released from the hospital. One calls for building three high security facilities for patients. Right now, the state releases them straight to group homes that experts say lack structure, making a repeat health crisis more likely. The fourth proposal is viewed as an alternative to privatization, creating an independent board to oversee the state hospital system. We 100 percent need that. Most proposed reforms require spending new money, a challenge for the state which faces a deficit. Lawmakers will debate the price tag and the value of these measures in the coming weeks. This is, without a doubt, a community problem. Behavioral health experts say it's worth the investment. One state nonprofit reports Arizona has just 5 to 10 percent of the secure treatment capacity needed for this population. People with mental illness considered gravely disabled or who pose a danger to themselves and others. Joe Dana, 12 News.